Today we are making a gentle soap with infused olive oil. For the infusion I use dried chamomile flowers that have amazing calming properties for the skin. The way I like to do an infusion is to add some spoons of the dried flowers in a regular tea bag, just like so. For this double batch, I'm using two bags of dried chamomile flowers. Once the bags are prepared, I add the olive oil to a steel pot. Olive oil makes a hard, long-lasting soap with a gentle cleansing lather, suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. A soap made with olive oil will help to condition and soften your skin. Turn on your heat on low and let it sit for about 2 hours. In the meantime, we will prepare the other oils we will need for this recipe, that you will find of course down in the description box, along with all other ingredients and tools that I'm using or recommending. One important ingredient for the oil part of this soap is shea butter. That comes in solid form and therefore we need to melt it down first with a gentle heat. I personally like to use a double boiler because of the gentle heat, especially for shea butter, but you can also use a microwave and if you do so, use short increments of 30 seconds so you don't overheat your ingredients. We are also going to use castor oil. Meanwhile the olive oil is infused and I'm going to weigh it out with the scale. In case there is some missing oil, I will just add some regular olive oil to it to make up the difference. This mixture here smells amazing by the way. In goes the melted shea butter. For an additional skin-loving ingredient, I'm also going to add finely grinded oatmeal. 4 tablespoons for this batch size. And I like to add it with my oils before I add the lye solution to it. So I have all the time I need to really blend it well to the oils and get rid of all the little clumps. We are soaping at room temperature today, just because I want this mixture to remain very runny for a nice and smooth pour. In goes the lye solution and then I stick blend to emulsion. I'm not going to use any fragrance in this particular soap, but of course you could also add some if you wish. Same goes for the color, I'm not using any colorant because this is going to remain an all-natural soap, so to speak.
the ready for the pour. Here are my square silicone molds that I placed on a tray for practical reasons like if I want to move my mold around or for tapping down and so forth. I like to leave the soap alone for up to five days as this is a soap that is very high in liquid oils and we soaked at room temperature. Leaving it that long guarantees a very smooth and crisp unmolding and makes your soap look very cool. I absolutely like the minimalistic look and you could leave it to cure just like this for a couple of months to make a very hard and long lasting bar of soap. But I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it with my logo and I usually do this right after unmolding. Here is my acrylic stamp and here is my rubber mallet. I place the stamp in the center of the soap and give it a light tap with the mallet. Just very lightly and then I gently wiggle the stamp out. Sometimes less is more, isn't it? I really like this natural look of this gentle soap very much. If you are interested in other soap making related videos, you can check out the playlist on the screen where you can find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you soon. Bye!